What's going on guys? Let me show you how to paint an eye. All right, so before we start, what you're gonna want is a really, really clear photo of your eye. You want some like glare or something in it to make it, you know, look like a really good quality photo. So I'll, I'll, um, I'll screenshot my eye and add it into the video for you guys. If you want to copy mine, that's totally fine. Okay, so now that you've got the eye you want to draw, um, what I generally like to do to save time is I just project it onto my canvas. So if we zoom in here, you can see the really faint outline there. So what I've done is I've got my computer and I've just stuck it, um, I just, I've just projected it onto the canvas. Um, it saves me heaps of time and I find the proportions and everything are perfect that way. So that's what I do. Um, you can do it either way. You can use a projector. Um, if you don't have a projector, um, you can draw it out or you can, um, I'd recommend tracing if you want to save time and get the perfect proportions straight away. Um, and I'll have to do a different video on that another time, but yeah, tracing. Um, then you get everything right and ready to go because we're just focusing on the painting today. Now that it's all been projected and you are ready to go, um, what you need is a few basic paint colors. Um, we'll do it to my eye because that's what I'm going to be painting. So I'll get it all out and show you exactly what you need for this one. So the first color you want to start with is just your black Ooh, yeah. um, and then you just want to spread them all out um, just put a drop of each because eyes are only pretty small so you don't need a whole lot of color um, with your white generally you're going to use that more so you could probably put a little bit more white white's going to be your most most used color even though an eye obviously isn't fully white but you mix it with everything um, and my eyes are like a bluey greenish, so we'll just add the green as well. Sweet. Now we're going to go back over to the canvas. All right, so I'm going to introduce you to one of my friends, and this is Windex. Now, I know it seems weird, but this actually thins acrylic really well, um, and I use it to make really fine lines and to blend things together. So grab some Windex from your local cheap shop. I think it's like $2 or something. Um, it's the same as like a thinning medium, but cheaper. So yeah, anyway, grab some of that and just make a little puddle of it. Probably better to do it in one of the wells, which I'll do in a sec, but yep. All right, so we're gonna start with the black because if you can see around my eye there, it's a black ring around the outside and there's a pupil in the middle that's black. Um, and see those little, little indents and stuff? They're all gonna be black as well. So we have to mark it out before we put on the color if that makes sense. Alrighty, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is outline all the dark bits on your eye. So you've got the pupil and you've got the ring around the outside. You've also got those little bits. Now we're going to mix together a base color that we can use. It's going to be quite a dark color, um, but still lighter than the black we used earlier, just as a base for our eye. Um, it's going to be the shadows really. All right, with that base color mixed up, you just put it over your whole eye. Um, do it pretty thin and watery so you can see through it and still see those black marks that you already put down. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. So what 
we're doing now is we're adding another base color. It's slightly lighter. So it's more the color how your eyes are actually going to be. Um, and starting to add in a few of the finer details with that as well. With each of those dark spots, you've also got a highlight around the edge of it. If you look in the sun or those really detailed eye photos, if you know what I'm talking about, um, you see those little squiggly white bits, or not white, but the lighter colored bits that have been hit by the sun. Um, so that's what I'm doing there is trying to replicate that. How you see on the eye on the left side behind my nose, um, you can see I've done it on that one already. So it's just like a little bit of a highlight for, I guess you could call them ridges, eye ridges. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing there. So what? Adding a few more highlights here. I just wanted to say as well, like, um, sometimes a drier brush is better than a wet brush. So this is a bit wet at the moment, but I'll wipe it off on something and it gives a more, a less precise line, if that makes sense. So sometimes you need a, a more blurry line than others. So you just use your reference photo and look where that needs to be. Um, this is probably the blurrier lines here. Then you want to go in with even lighter highlights, um, which is what I'm doing here, just to really make it pop. And you don't want to overdo it with the highlights either. You just want to make it just enough so that it looks like you're in the sun, not in the dark room or anything, you know? all right now it gets exciting we start to add the shadows from where your eyelid is um well your eyebrow i guess casts a pretty big shadow across your eye and that's what i'm doing here you want to really blend it well um because the eye is a ball shape um so you just add the darks and then the light in the middle and you'll get a nice even blend keep it all wet for that i added in some blue as well to reflect the sky um, and yeah, that's what I'm working on there. This is the other side. Um, so that's just the eyelid all around. Um, it's a bit of a brownish color just to mark out where it is. And that's that little thing in the corner of your eye or the start of it anyway, where it blends into the eye with all the veins and stuff. I don't know if you know this, but when you look really close at an eye, it actually isn't a solid black line around your eye. Um, so what I'm doing here is blending that line out. It's more of a grayish bluish line. And so I'm just blending it out so it's not a solid straight line. It needs to be blended out. Yeah, and then finishing up that other side, adding more highlights in. Um, and it's really starting to take shape now. I also just add in a couple of little tiny veins here. You don't have to, I just like to a little bit. Don't go overboard because they're really difficult to see um, and you don't want to make them too obvious. And then I'm doing that little tear thing that makes you cry. But yeah, adding highlights on that is nice too. We've reached the exciting bit, so I'm adding the highlights now. I've just done a really light coat of blue to mark out where it's going to go, and now I'm adding in the white. You want that really wet looking look, so it's got to be start off light and then work your way into it. Here I'm adding more shadows because it wasn't quite dark enough. Um, but yeah, with that highlight, you just want 
like a smooth, bright white. Um, and that's really how it is in real life as well. That's just the hairdryer drying it a bit. Sometimes it takes a couple layers. So here's me adding in the really white white. Um, yeah, once again, it's a bit of a dry brush. You mix too much of that Windex and it thins it down so it's not as bright. Um, and what you want here is just thick brightness. Um, those are the eyelashes in the reflection. Um, but they're just little marks that you can add in. Once again, like this, th your painting is up to you. This is just how I like to do it. And there's still lots for me to learn, obviously. Like there's so many different ways of doing each thing. So these are just helpful pointers when you're starting out or when you're not starting out. Um, but yeah, just something to, to watch and to learn how I do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Here's adding more highlights to make it look more round. See in the bottom left corner, it's darker. And as it goes out, it gets lighter, just like a ball. Um, yeah. And that, you guys, is how to paint a realistic looking eye. If you have any questions, comments, anything, just feel free to put it in the comment section. Um, yeah, I hope that helped. I hope that you could learn something from me today. Um, yeah, I'd love uh, tag me in anything. Like if you make something and you want me to see it, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see. Um, stuff I do helping, so yeah, let me know what you think. See ya.